This is WKYT This Morning. Good morning on your Thursday, a winter storm morning going into effect later today for just about everybody. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. Yeah, be careful out there if you're driving or walking around. Yeah, a lot going on, and we've already had that shot of snow from yesterday. Our time is 631. Three shots were fired into a Lexington apartment this morning. With the two people inside, we've now learned our okay. And we are tracking that winter storm morning, guys, all the way into the overnight hours tonight, deep into Saturday, as accumulating snow is likely. We could be talking better than a foot in some cases. We'll track it coming up. Officials at Kentucky Utilities still don't know exactly what caused more than 700 customers to lose power in part of Lexington. And a Frankfurt Kroger is reopening this morning after the store's roof caught on fire last month. Well, with more snow in the forecast over the next few days, many businesses gearing up for a potentially crippling winter storm. Making arrangements, you know, canceling some appointments, and major airlines are also preparing for severe weather. It's expected to hit much of the mid-Atlantic and the Northeast, and as we know, uh, have an impact here as well. Preparation work already underway at Lexington's Bluegrass Airport, and that's where WKYT's Mark Barber is continuing our first alert weather team coverage. Mark, good morning. Good morning, Bill. Tomorrow's expected snow storm is already causing some disruptions here at the Bluegrass Airport. About 40 minutes ago, I spoke with a man who was scheduled to take a Delta flight to Atlanta at 2 o'clock this afternoon. He says he bumped it up by seven hours because he wanted to put as much distance between tomorrow's coming storm and himself. Now, he says Delta allowed him to switch his flight uh, schedule free of charge. And this morning, many other major airlines are also letting their passengers who are scheduled to fly out anytime tomorrow or Saturday also rebook and reschedule their flights for free. Now, this storm that is on the way. Airlines say they're watching it closely, still waiting to see whether they'll be forced to cancel any flights or not. But that is a very strong possibility because this storm could drop as much as a foot of snow here at the Bluegrass Airport and throughout the rest of central Kentucky. Now, airlines are offering a number of different options to travelers who want to avoid this possible travel nightmare. Southwest is allowing travelers to rebook flights if they're flying anywhere from Boston to Washington on Friday or Saturday. And other airlines like Delta, United, and American are also offering a refund to travelers who are planning to fly in or out of one of those cities on the East Coast that will get hammered by the storm. The winter weather is also starting to cause a number of closures in central Kentucky. Businesses in the area are already telling us that they're planning to close tomorrow, and lawmakers have even canceled their legislative session in Frankfurt. As always, we will continue checking for any cancellations or delays here at the Bluegrass Airport. We'll also keep checking for those uh, closures or delays through any other businesses, churches, and schools here in our area. You can always find that full list of closures and delays for yourself over on our website tomorrow on the WKYT.com closings tab. That's the latest here from the Bluegrass Airport. I'm Mark Barber, WKYT. Mark, thank you very much. And that list is long. Oh, Those yeah. closings, many schools across our area are closed again today. That does include Fayette County, by the way. The crews have been out in Lexington working through the night. They've been trying to remove snow from the city's roadways. A lot of them look really good, especially the main roads. But some streets are a little covered this morning with snow, maybe the residential areas. Because of that, road crews advising anyone headed out this morning to give yourself some extra time. WKYT's Michelle Chamberlain continues our first alert weather team coverage. Good morning. Yeah, as you head out this morning, just be aware in neighborhoods like this one in Hamburg that the side roads are still covered in snow this morning after yesterday's snow. And this is why Fayette County Public Schools are closed once again today. Lexington police tell me the major roads, for the most part, are fine. There are some slick spots, but for the most part, road crews have been able to clear the main roads. Police say crews are out right now cleaning off these side neighborhood roads. The crews have been hard at work the past 24 hours. Salt truck drivers say if you happen to drive behind one of their trucks this morning to please be patient. Don't be frustrated at me. I'm just trying to make the road safer for you. So with that in mind, please drive slowly if you have to head out this morning. And also Lexington police telling me that there were more than 100 non-injury accidents yesterday during yesterday's storm. So keep that in mind as you head out today. Live in Lexington, Michelle Chamberlain, WKYT. Well, yesterday's snow caused plenty of problems in southern Kentucky as well. It took drivers in Lincoln County a little longer to get to work yesterday, but some people told us they didn't have a choice. One postal carrier said she was extra careful and keeping an eye on other drivers, too. If you don't, they will run over you. They try to go around you. When you stop, they will, they'll go around you instead of waiting on you. It's, it's really treacherous out here right now. 
Well, in neighboring Pulaski County, police say they stayed busy working crashes. Many of those involved cars that had slid off the roads. Police ask people to stay home if possible because of the snow covered roads. And in eastern Kentucky, city officials also gearing up for this next round of snow. Road crews in Perry County had a long day yesterday removing snow, but the county's road department says it is manageable at this point. Workers break the county up into five districts with about five trucks in each district so that they can clear those roads more quickly. New this morning, police are investigating after someone reported a shots fired into a Lexington apartment. Police say it happened at the Coolivan Apartments on West 6th Street shortly after 2 this morning. They say at least three rounds hit the apartment. Police say an adult and a juvenile were in the home, but neither were injured. At this time, police do not have any suspects. Our time is 637 on WKYT in Oldham County. Police say they have found the remains of a missing UPS pilot about a mile away from his home. Police say Mike Kimsey disappeared last year. They say he left his home on May 29th, but his family did not know why. Police found Kimsey's remains Tuesday in a wooded area about a mile from his Oldham County home. Because of decomposition, though, police say they may not be able to determine what caused Kimsey's death. A man accused in a Lexington murder case will be back in court this morning. Michael Crow will go before a judge for sentencing. Crow pleaded guilty to murdering his wife, Felicia Walker, in 2014. Her body was found at the America's Best Value Inn on Versailles Road in April of 2014. The Lexington police say a man wanted in connection with a murder near UK's campus has been found dead in Ohio. Police in Dayton, Ohio, say 21 year old Kenyon Hips shot himself in the back seat of a car. CBS affiliate WHIO in Ohio reports that officers were talking to three people outside a car when they heard a gunshot fired from a man still inside. The Montgomery County coroner in Ohio identified that man as Hips. He was wanted in Lexington on charges of assault, robbery, and murder after the shooting death of Caleb Hallett earlier this month on University Avenue. Lexington police are still looking for 18 year old Marcus Smith and a 17 year old in connection with Hallett's murder. They say two juveniles are connected to the case and already in custody. Kentucky Utilities officials are trying to figure out this morning what caused a power outage in part of Lexington. They say more than 700 customers around the intersection of New Circle Road and Winchester Road lost power around 8 o'clock last night. KU officials say power was restored within about 45 minutes. Again, they're not sure what caused the power. Power to go out. The Kentucky Senate has passed a bill that would make convicted drunk drivers wait 10 years before their convictions come off their records. Currently, drunk driving offenses only count against each other if they occur within a five year period. A previous offender arrested for DUI after that period is treated as a first time offender. The bill will go to the House next. State corrections officials worry the bill would only add to the state's prison population. Kentucky lawmakers are also considering a bill that would raise the state's minimum wage. House Speaker Greg Stumbo filed House Bill 278. He says it would raise Kentucky's minimum wage for the first time in nearly seven years. Minimum wage is $7.25 an hour right now. If it passes, the bill would raise it to $10.10 an hour by July of 2018. Now, city officials in Lexington and in Louisville have already approved the increase, at least in those cities. A Frankfurt Kroger is reopening its doors this morning. The Brighton Park Kroger will have a big ribbon cutting ceremony. It starts at 8 o'clock this morning. Store officials say they've remodeled the store and they have several upgrades as well. And it's also now going to be 24 hours. It has also created 70 new jobs. This recent remodeling, it wasn't planned. It comes after the store's roof caught fire last month. Firefighters were able to quickly put out the fire, but it left sufficient damage to the store's pharmacy. Uh, nobody was injured in the situation, but they've had to have this closure for some time. Firefighters say the cause of that fire, by the way, is still unknown. Good timing. Get yeah, your bread they, and milk and eggs. Yeah, they were doing some renovations at the time, but then they've had to kind of, uh, you know, adjust here. You can imagine those grocery <laughs> You're right stores. about that. It's going to be a little bit packed, you know, ahead of tonight's snow. So let's see how traffic is moving right now this morning. For the bread and milk run. Yeah. Uh, here is Officer Don and a check on live drive traffic. Don? Hey, good morning. Well, right now it's not too bad. With school out in Fayette County, that's helping with traffic flow. Road crews did the best they, they could yesterday as far as getting the roads clear for us. We still have patches of ice to deal with, of course, so we have to watch the bridges and overpasses, exit ramps, and things like that. But in better shape than we were this morning, and probably in better shape this morning than we're going to be tomorrow from what we hear. Right now, if you look inbound uh, Richmond Road, you can see slowdowns in that left turn lane to get onto the circle. That's normal. Drive times 14 minutes from Nicholasville, 16 from Georgetown, from Paris, 18. 
And from Richmond, it looks normal as of right now across the Clays Ferry Bridge. Uh, so we're, we're in good shape there. We'll keep you up to date. Now back to you. Okay, we know you will. We thank you very much. And everybody just, uh, you know, be prepared, <sighs> have that patience, yeah. or plan not to uh, be out and about I've uh, got tomorrow. My, I've got my things, you know, I've got my sack of food. Yeah, yeah you do. I noticed that. <laughs> I really do. Because I'm like, I don't know where I might get stranded. Hopefully nowhere. But That, that, that should food. last you till Monday if, it, if need be. So. It's a lot in there. <laughs> well, we are really, really freezing here in Kentucky, needless to say. Up north, some folks are freezing their pants off, literally. Yeah, it's a new trend. We're going to take a closer look at this. <laughs> Coming up this morning. I hope that <laughs> never mind. We're tracking a winter storm moving across the country and will invade Kentucky as well. <laughs> I'll have the latest here in a couple minutes. <laughs> We are tracking a lot of cold air out there this morning, and come tomorrow, we're going to be tracking a round of snow, some freezing rain, sleet, and winds gusting 30, 35 miles per hour. All of that coming at us within the next 24 hours should be a very, very active pattern here. 19 degrees in Lexington as you walk out the door, because there are some of us that still have to get up and out and about this morning. I'm having a hard time. 19 degrees in Danville, Richmond, Mount Sterling, and down to 18 in Moorhead. Winter storm warnings posted pretty much across Kentucky. Yeah, just a winter storm watch remaining into a few counties. Owen County up into Canton, Campbell County, Boone County thrown into the mix there as well. Just a few areas remain in that watch. Eventually, they'll go one way or the other with some type of advisory or full-blown warning here. We expand our view, and we track the system and the moisture that's coming at us in the coming days. This area of low pressure, just a spiraling area of low pressure. You've got it out there continuing to circulate and pump in more moisture. And that moisture is going to continue to lift northward as we work into the nighttime hours tonight. Winter storm threats as we move forward. Obviously, snowfall remains on the high side. If you've seen our Facebook posts or our Twitter posts or over on WKYT.com, you've seen the new snowfall forecast. And I've shared it several times here this morning as well. And you know that it is a real deal. We're talking maybe better than a foot in some cases. And so, obviously, snowfall, roads, high winds, all of these things come together to make for a pretty nasty go. What we have is a very tight system. Once it gets set up and really going into your Friday, that's going to cause the winds to start blowing. You might get a glazing of ice, especially in southern Kentucky. So with glazing of ice, hanging on power lines perhaps, on tree branches, throw in some heavy wet snow initially. That's a lot of weight. And then the winds, power outages become a major concern here moving forward when this system finally sinks its teeth into the area. We're all the way into 11 o'clock on Friday, and you notice that the snow continues. Now, this isn't a model. This is one that we had to draw by hand, but this is basically what model data is suggesting that we keep that snow present during that whole time into Saturday afternoon. And that's why we're coming up with these totals. That and the fact that for an extended period of time initially, and several hours into it, southern parts of Kentucky, you get stuck in more of a rainy or a bit of a, a freezing rain zone, which would cut back on the overall total. Still three to eight inches is nothing to, uh, to, to just blow off because it is certainly a lot of snow. But when you compare it to a better than a foot, which is possible, it's kind of a lower amount, but still enough to cause some major problems out there. A seven-day forecast keeps snow around all the way through Saturday. With the snow on the ground, guys, uh, Saturday night going into Sunday morning, we're going to hover right around zero to start Sunday off. We will warm up during the day around 29. That's your day of break before we crank it up again and start tracking more winter precipitation into the area. So it looks like not a lot of chance for a melting of snow. <laughs> not a lot of chances for the melting of the snow. That's well, exactly right. It's going to yeah. hang around for a little while. Well, and uh, when you have to be excited about a day that starts out at zero, <laughs> it says a lot, doesn't it? It's a sad well, day Rebecca's in ready, though, by the way. Uh, <laughs> what, what is that? Whatever these are. Will they go they're, on your shoes? They're like traction things. You stick them oh. on your shoes and they help you walk on the ice. Okay. Be careful. And you've tried them and they work, right? They work. They work. Okay. Should be no problem then. <laughs> we'll see. I'm ready, man. That's my sack of food. Uh, let's to go, go up to Minnesota right now where there's a new trend that's going on up there. An interesting thing uh, in what it is, outdoor winter art. You can mm -hmm. see it there. The new trend. Locals have been freezing their clothing and putting them in there for years. <laughs> what? It's part of their theme that they're freezing their, in their pants yards. off. In their yards. Okay, that's the word. Uh, some of them actually... You can see I uh, have fun captions like frozen in our tracks or like we all probably are doing right now, dreaming of summer. 
Yeah, yes. that's a good thought. <laughs> you know, we were looking at the calendar though just a little bit ago with Jim over here. It's uh, less than two months till spring, so we'll, uh, we'll keep that oh, in mind. That's a nice thought. That gives us hope. Look at frozen pants and wait for a big winter storm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he says it's warmer in Minneapolis right now than it is here. Whoa, so, that's yeah. sad. So there you go. <laughs> Things are twisted around. 6.49 on WKYT this morning. We have more news. Stay with us. Coming up, prelude to a monster storm. We're in D.C. already crippled by light snow before this weekend's expected blizzard. Plus, how one retail icon's new business strategy could affect the future of department stores. More real news coming up on CBS This Morning, next. Welcome back. It is 6.52 on WKYT this morning as we await the big snow. Oh, we are waiting on yeah. that, and we're also filling you in on a little bit of politics news this morning. The GOP race is heating up with Donald Trump uh, gaining Sarah Palin as an endorsement on the trail and a new lead, apparently, in the polls. The latest CNN poll finds Trump holding a 20-point lead among Republican voters in New Hampshire. That's more than double his nearest competitor, Ted Cruz. Don Champion has more on how the Republican candidates are now fighting for votes. Donald Trump is riding high off the endorsement of Tea Party favorite Sarah Palin. Wednesday, the former Republican vice presidential nominee hit the road with Trump in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Are you ready to stump for Trump? I'm here to support the next president of the United States of America. Everybody wanted her endorsement. She said, what you're doing, Donald, is amazing. It's a movement, and it is a movement. Palin's endorsement is looked at as being a blow to Trump's rival, Ted Cruz. The men are neck and neck in Iowa, less than two weeks away from the caucuses. Campaigning in New Hampshire, Cruz tried painting Trump as the new Washington establishment candidate. There are a whole lot of people in this country that feel exactly the same way, that are fed up with Republican leadership, that makes all sorts of promises to get elected and then sells this country down the river. On Saturday, the Des Moines Register newspaper in Iowa will unveil its highly influential endorsement of a GOP candidate. Don Champion, CBS News. All right, a lot to watch over the next uh, couple of weeks before the first votes. It is 6.54 right now. We are on top of the incoming weather, including the winter storm warning that goes into effect later today. You'll find the latest right now on our homepage, and you can download our Weather Plus traffic app for your phone and stay informed if you're on the go. We also have this long list of closings and delays. Many school systems, including Fayette County, closed today because of the snow from yesterday and, of course, the impending weather situation as well. We didn't anticipate a long list tomorrow, certainly. Most roads in Lexington have been cleared for now by salt truck crews working long shifts. They're now preparing to work 12-hour shifts if that's needed through the weekend to clear the streets and roads. Mayor Jim Gray and emergency responders are expected to talk about the game plan at some point later today. Also trending this morning, Walmart and Sam's Club employees will be getting raises. The pay raise will take effect February 20th and will be one of the largest single-day private sector pay increases ever. Walmart is also realigning its paid time off and short-term disability plans. ESPN analyst Seth Greenberg is questioning Kentucky's chemistry as the Wildcats are on the road at Arkansas tonight. Kentucky.com looks ahead to that game. And also Good Foods Co-op in Lexington looking to open up a second location as the trend toward healthier eating is continuing. And CBS This Morning will be following us at 7 with your eye-opener They'll be looking at this uh, big storm that is uh, uh, perhaps going to be crippling along the East Coast. And that is at uh, 7. We'll have updates as well from WKYT News. Join us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And for the latest news anytime, WKYT.com. And current traffic situation, Bill, it's fine as far as the overall flow is concerned, but you run into some of these side roads and some of these neighborhood roads, you're likely going to run into some slick spots, and you got to watch out for icy areas as well because of the yesterday's snow, some melting, refreezing that occurred during the overnight hours, and you're really going to have to watch out for all of that tomorrow as well as we're tracking the, the big system that they're tracking on CBS and everybody else across the country, especially the eastern half of it. We are all talking about it. Winter storm warning in effect between now and then. 
again as this big sprawling area of low pressure will be tracking toward us, spreading snow into the area and perhaps wind gusts that could be 30, 40 miles per hour is a safe bet out there as we move forward. And I'm just going to stop right there and let you look at that and soak that up. Now, I was talking to Chris. Chris was actually up not long ago. He went to bed right before we went on the air. No surprise. And no surprise. And he was still talking that some of these totals could be higher than his original forecast. So we'll wait and see. Okay. Get ready for that. <laughs> Everybody get ready. Nobody is more up to date than you to start your day. Thank you for being with WKYT. Have a good one.